Amsterdam, October 2021, Dam Square. Bought cool sunglasses and a new hat today at the Lupine Market. We walked through the worldly crowd past the fairy tale canal houses and ate that brunch in front of the man's house, Rembrandt himself. I gave him a toast. There's a gorgeous long-haired blonde at the bar, but beautiful people are everywhere. Young and blonde and flying by on bicycles, fit and thin and in a hurry. Their little warning bells gently warning the unobservant stoned tourist multitude to beware. Twisting my head at every crossing in dread of the flying bicycles right away. On the flight across the ocean was Orion, the warrior of the sky, riding with us all night long. I slept little, if at all. The rugged landscapes of Scotland at dawn, 40,000 feet below. I won three chess games, watched MLK, FBI, rode in an airliner supreme, an Airbus. Later, I will no doubt take that walk in the surreal, lusty nightlife, watching from behind old eyes, the young crowd teasing themselves with voyeurism and pity. For me, for them, for the women disenchanted, and for the dreams of lonely and oppressed men from all around the world, from God knows where. Every language, every culture, the music, foreign languages, mixed in a collage international. The human music from around the world. No need to speak it. I know the sounds of celebration in every language of good herb smoking comrades from every corner of the world. Here's to the lonely cosmic Dear Abbey. A week yet to see awesome paintings, sculptures, knights in armor. The Hermitage Museum is next. The excesses of the Romanovs. The walls and walls of old Dutch masters. Faces of people long gone beyond the veil. And this old flower child, so soon to die, might not know it tonight. 